the member from Essex. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Acting Premier. Speaker, three years ago I stood in this House and asked the Premier to explain her plan for horse racing in the province. When I asked her why she was betting the farm on the Woodbine racetrack and handing more market share to a then not-for-profit giant, the Premier answered uh, that what I was saying was just not true. So, will the Acting Premier explain why Ontario Racing is currently consulting on a 17-year funding agreement that would effectively hand over control of horse racing in the entire province of Ontario to the now for-profit Woodbine Entertainment Group, just as I had predicted three years ago? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I appreciate the question. The member opposite and all of us in this House recognize the importance of horse racing industry as an economic industry in the province of Ontario. And we want to maintain stability and growth within the industry. And that is why we've made a commitment to a long term sustainability of horse racing in the province, recognizing as well to maintain the viability of some of those tracks. Now, Woodbine, as a service provider, would be enabling us to provide for some of those uh, deliveries. We haven't yet determined exactly where we'll be, but those discussions are underway with all the tracks and all those stakeholders that are engaged within this process. But, Mr. Speaker, it's critical for us to continue providing us a venue, a source, an enablement of providing some of that assistance to the to the racing community, Answer. to the breeders, and to ensure its viability. We are working closely to determine the best avenue to go forward, including Thank governance, you. Mr. Speaker. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, I've met with the farmers and the breeders who depend on a vibrant horse racing industry for their livelihoods. Horse people do not support the Premier's plan to give total control of horse racing to the for-profit Woodbine Group. Small racetracks like the Lakeshore Racetrack in my home community are worried about their future, but they can't get straight answers from the Premier's plan because it's being developed without any transparency or accountability. The government's first plan to modernize horse racing was a disaster that the Auditor General said would kill rural jobs. Why should rural Ontarians believe the Premier's latest plan will be any better? Thank you, Minister. Actually, Mr. Speaker, I agree with the member opposite. We want to ensure that all members of the horse racing community are engaged. We want to ensure transparency and governance overseeing some of that development. We want to ensure that they're actually there prior to Woodbine as a service provider of uh, the, uh, the, the funding, Mr. Speaker. It's why we do have a, a group with the Ontario Racing Community engaged within this. And I would like very much to have engagement of all those concerned to ensure that uh, viability and the use of funds is going to where it's supposed to be, and that's to the horses, and that's to the viability and sustainability of this community. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.